Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday, and whatever in this case is Hydraineer. <laughs> yeah, it's, this day's kind of just a catch all for whatever game I feel like playing on this day. Like, Mondays is like 99% chance gonna be Dragon Quest 8. Tuesdays is always Tales Tuesday, unless something really drastic happens and I have to reschedule it, but Wednesday. I can kind of do whatever I want. And right now, that's Hydraineer, which I'm having a good time out of. I'm getting more play out of it than I normally would by myself because we're doing some stuff that I would normally would not do. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, today we'll be playing Hydraineer. And before we, we begin, though, I'm still fundraising to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet. Help him save up for a deposit on a place with his roommates and just in general support. I don't know if that all sounds just garbled together because my brain's still firing up, but yeah, um, if, you, if you're able to, I have a link below my stream that leads to Hachiko's GoFundMe, and I also have a chat bot that shares the link, and I have a chat command that can give you the link, and whenever the screen's properly up for the stream, uh, that GoFundMe link will also be on the layout itself, so... Any way that you want to do it, if you do so, I'll really appreciate if you can support Hachiko. <laughs> Alright. Uh, sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Uh, uh. Alright. Okie dokie. I think I love pirate language. What? Hmm. I oh, don't know. Anyway. Hello, Diddy Dragon. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this game is funky and just kind of chill. We were we were we were basically we were basically just about done at uh, Ember Cradle, and it was it was suggested I build a house, so we're trying to finish that off too. Yeah, I, th I think uh, I think uh, Ghost I think Ghostly has mentioned that both of y'all have tried playing it remote play stuff and it's just been it was a little funky. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know if there's a piece to fix this, <laughs> so I'll we'll, I'll probably go to the store real quick and figure that out after we sleep somewhere in the floating bed out in the yard. <laughs> Um, longer than I thought it would. Granted, I also have a mod that lets me, um, buy walls and stuff in bulk. Like these, uh, crates and stuff. Like, I can, I can put, like, a stone floor in this and then go to the store and, like, say I want, like, seven more and then pay for them. And then I can just come back here and just slap shit together. It's really good. Otherwise, yeah, this would have taken, like... Way long. Oh, I, I I did most of the building on this without these crates. It, well, I, I I when I when I was doing it the stubborn way, I put them in the truck, and you know did truck shit. But these crates tend to be, for the most part, a lot more useful. I did have one crate last time, like go into the stratosphere and land like way over here. Because get, this is an early access game, <laughs> so shit happens like that. I, I want I was a little more frantic finding it though, because it had all my uh, tier two drills in it. Yeah, I've had I've had a bucket like start vibrating and ascend to the sky, so the the physics is a little a little, a little spooky sometimes. Actually, before I get in there, let's grab one of these, uh... I mean, you probably don't need a, cr a crate for two of these, so we'll be fine. It's just kind of, it's a little, just a little, little goofy trying to pilot this truck around them cradle now. I should have turned my system on so I could keep getting stuff on away, but, eh, whatever. 
That's my that's my patented shortcut. <laughs> I wouldn't say patented, but yeah, it's how I it's how I get down to this town a lot quicker. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're, we're basically looking for like some sort of like gable or whatever cover. Let's see. Oh, they do have this piece. I was I was I was afraid they wouldn't. But that should work just fine. So let's get my money. Pretty cheap, too. Good morning, Hachiko. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, thank you. I did, um... I think I... My, my thing should have worked on Tumblr. Hard to really tell if anyone ever sees anything on there. I, I'm still learning how Tumblr, Tumblr even works. <laughs> okay. Sometimes that's just how it goes. I, I respect the drive. <laughs> that was the tractor for a moment. It was like Pog. I mean, we've got this little truck here. It's pretty cool. It runs off water. And we're gonna just like finagle ourselves up this okay, okay game. Make me look like a fucking fool. More of a fool, rather. I'm gonna finagle our way up this hill. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> we're, we're putting the finishing touches on a little shitty house because I've never built anything in this game before. Mostly because you don't really need to. Like, your character doesn't like need hunger or thirst or shelter or anything. You're just a d you're just some you're just a, you're just a little guy. All right, so uh, <laughs> this needs to go up there. So we're gonna currently just put it right there in midair. And we got anything to? Uh, you're just a little guy. Huh? Yeah, you're just some guy. You're just you're just a dude. We'll, we'll use these crates as unofficial uh, ladders as well. Oh, uh, we need a little, just a little more height. We'll just keep kicking the kicking the can down the road. <laughs> All right, other crate with other stuff. Let's uh, use you use you also as a a strange impromptu ladder. Still not high enough. Well, we'll just. <laughs> We'll just do, okay. That's not gonna work because I, I the placing of this game is a little funky. But I was gonna be like, be like the oh, I it's like the, like the fucking Looney Tunes shit of like I'm building a plank out into midair and I'll grab the plank that I used to use to build out this plank and just keep the thing. I mean, it might work when I have more than three of these in place, but... Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have enough currently to um, do the deed there. Um, we can also, use, we can also just use random garbage in the yard to freaking... <laughs> to freaking pillar up to this fucking thing to build the house. It's like I know I. It's like I know I kept all this trash around for a reason. <laughs> oh, come on. probably easier if I just go inside and place it from the inside. I don't know why I just didn't think of that. Still still need a little bit more height. I think that's why I have this little guy here. Come, come on. There we go. Okay. I should be, I should be able to fit the other one. I mean... 
it, it, it's funny. It's nice I wasted like five minutes doing this, but it's at least kind of funny. <laughs> so I think that's, I think that's fine. Uh, excuse me. Oh, am I too close now? Fucker. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, the placement in this game's a little, uh, a little weird. Come on. What what is what is even going on now at this point? You know what? Fuck you. We'll do this do it this way, I guess. I'm sure this is the correct way around at least, cause like <laughs> Damn it, get out of the sky! <laughs> Alright. Well, that's the house kind of officially done. I guess we can start moving stuff in here. Uh, like, we've got this bed, I guess. I can go up here. Funniest thing is, like, after I get this set up, I'm going to be going to the next, uh, next dig site to work on and like build on so like this is not gonna get used very often <laughs> it's mostly just kind of to do it because I can and I haven't done it before it's also bothering me I can't have it flush with against the wall without causing um, problems Okay, well, let's see. Can what? What's next? We got these. We got these two racks, but it, it, it's fine. It's just like a little silly. We're gonna we're gonna get the the system running back again. I have to say my favorite part is this thing here that it this little goofy drill looking thing reads the durability s score of this filter and when it reaches one or zero it sends a signal up to this and then this thing repairs it I don't have to do anything I don't have to repair anything manually anymore <clears throat> so all this is just up here just just, it's just going. It's pretty satisfying to get stuff actually all set up. And essentially what we're going to be doing at the next place is this, but on a much bigger scale because it's deeper so the stuff is going to be bigger and we'll just have like lots more stuff going, but... Hmm. We're likely to keep all this stuff here just because no reason to really move it. But there's a lot of stuff we're going to need to do to get set up there. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got this rug. Well, I guess I can put that in the house. But this pickaxe is going to go with us. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Fine. Whatever game. Yeah. If you try to place the rugs like you would expect them to, they kind of work with this flat concrete floor, but like with this floor, they just don't really, they like, it doesn't really look good, so. In, in this case, we're going to just like drop, <laughs> drop the rug on the floor like this and pretend that it's how it's supposed to be. Cause sometimes you just got to work with the game how it's going to work with you. We're probably gonna take at least uh... a 
Okay, I, I wasn't sure if I was doing that right. Because I know I've seen, like, your stream and, like, Birdie's stream. And I was like, wait, how the fuck do you do that? Because, <laughs> yeah. Because before now, I've used, like, Tumblr, like, one time. Like, back in, like, 2015 or some shit. Oh no, there's a very real reason, there's a really very real possibility of just doing it wrong, because I, I get up at like, I get up like 20 minutes before my stream and just start like rapid firing, getting stuff started and going, because that's just what time allows for me to do in my work-life balance or whatever. So unfortunately, like, sometimes things come out a little half-baked. <laughs> <clears throat> I appreciate that, yeah, it's like, it's just, like, with my new job that I got, and, uh, like, like, in bed mostly, so cool, that's good to know, but yeah, like, with my new job I got in, like, uh, August, um, like, I have a lot less free time now, so I've gotta just squeeze everything together and make it work. <laughs> We're just kind of walking in circles right now, cause this is basically done. I'm I'm done fucking around with it. Like I was like, oh, these are gonna be cool, but like the not all the tools I have work with it. Like this is a modded pickaxe, cause yeah, I'll we'll just leave this box here, whatever. I suppose before we go though, we will actually uh, s we'll stop this. Let's actually stop instead of like double clicking everything. Yeah, we'll stop this and we'll collect all the bars from this and take them with us. Because we got a pretty hefty iron bar here. 98,000 pounds. <laughs> That's a pretty sizable chunk. And then we got some gold here. I'm a, I've, I've not looked at this gold bar in a while, like a few streams. So it's good. a 55,000 pound gold bar. Uh, we'll just stack that there for now and Claudium which is very important because we can use that to make a <clears throat> it's been stewing in quality yeah we've been using the Claudium pretty frequently to make more drills and stuff tier 2 stuff for the next step and this shard bar here has been just kind of accumulating as well it's pretty big for a shard bar alright so we'll be taking these four with us and in the meantime, we'll just turn to, Well, we'll fill up the wrenches up here in this thing before we leave. We can just kind of squ squat and shove them in there, these little bags. It's really useful, actually. Do we have any more? Hmm. Guess we don't have any more wrenches. We'll go buy a few more and just top off the, uh, <clears throat> the supply. I guess that what counts is the money being in there, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll... See, my idea with this house is like, this is like the foreman's house or whatever. Like, when you first get to the dig site and then you get it behind it and that's where all the stuff happens. Claudia was what you mind for on social media. Uh, you know, I've I've thought that I've thought something similar to that like every single time I see the word Claudium. Okay, and then you know what? That's good enough. I don't feel like going and buying another wrench bag. All right, so we'll just turn this on, and this will run as long as we've got the game loaded now. Essentially, because when these get broken, this fixes them without me having to do anything. So while we're doing stuff over at the other place, this will just still just be going. Should be nice to check on like every once in a while. Um, yeah, we'll carry. We'll just carry manually carry these to um to the to the car. 
we're gonna have to do a lot of shopping. But thankfully with these uh, crates, that's going to be a lot simpler to deal with than it has been in the past. Because normally if you want to like buy like a bunch of like pipes or just anything, you would have to get like a, one of the carts that I have or like something like this and just like stack a bunch of shit in them. And that, well, this is like one of the... The, this is like the main area, and these little guys are just go. And I love, I love just the the look of all this stuff, though. They all go up the little cover. Oh, something just fixed up there. Automatically, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Uh, oh, I was getting distracted explaining something <laughs> because of course I did. I gotta say, like my favorite, one of my favorite things in this game. I'll show show it off in a second. Is um, oh, let me after I put this iron bar in here, so we don't lose track of it. Is we got all these gemstones in here. We got this is a big ass gemstones. I love Cloutium. We got this like big ass ruby here. Like this big ass emerald. Like this big ass sapphire. And then we have this onyx gem that's just getting bigger and bigger. There might be a max size that these can get to and they might already be there, but like... Oh, why is there gold in here? I don't know how it got in there, but... Whatever. <laughs> also, how, how'd that not make it in? Weird. Weird shit's going, weird shit's going on. Have I tried making a massive tool yet? Um, the only thing I really know regarding that would be um, using this uh, modded pickaxe station to make like the biggest, the best pickaxe. But for now, I'm sticking with the pick what we have, just because it digs up out a decent amount. And I think there's like a bug where like those modded pickaxes can destroy the artifacts you can find in the dig sites. So I'm trying to avoid that too. I guess we'll just take the gems with this too. In part so that if we need more money some for some somehow, some way, then we can uh just make something out of these with the gold and be just good for the next forever. Oh, you're talking about um like just make like using like a ten thousand like weight uh bar to make like a sword or something, right? Oh yeah, it gets pretty. It gets pretty, pretty ludicrous. I haven't done it with iron in a while because you use a lot of iron to make like the drills and all that. But like, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny to have just like a mat, like make it just like this massive fuck off sword that nobody's gonna use to, you know, fight anything with. Because there's no, there's nothing to fight in this game. It's literally just a just a chill chill ass building game. I do want the knife the size of a broadsword. <laughs> That, that's a knife. Okay, so we're gonna head to... Yeah, we can just go to Bridge... We can just go to Bridgeport first and buy a, a little bed. I was like, oh, well, we got a bed there. No, no, that's the, that's the camp bed that stays there, because whatever. We'll just drive down the hill very carefully. Kind of coast on through the city streets here. There's our, our money. Uh, we will be coming here soon, but not right now. I, I gotta figure. I gotta dig out where I want to be working at in the new place. Um, we will be coming here again soon too, cause we gotta buy. Um, Stuff like these. But.
I, I, I was gonna buy a bed. I was like, wait, what the fuck was he even gonna buy? And the answer is just like, another one of these beds for the new place. Shove this in the back of the truck. Good enough. I think sometime in December, this game's gonna have a big ass update that adds like farming and like more vehicles and stuff. Like, the, the place here we're going to, South Hope, is pretty close to both Bridgeport and the new like farming store area that's gonna be there. So, it's like probably gonna it's pro probably already like the best place to set up like a massive dig in the game but if not it's going to probably be that way I'm just gonna stick it in the ground and sleep <laughs> I take a drink of coffee here mmm bean on bean violence I'm just gonna leave the bed in the street there okay so Let's offload all our goodies somewhere we can find them. Just leave them, by, we'll, we'll leave them next to the rock, I guess. Good enough. <laughs> cool thing is when you're making jewelry, like like the bigger the bigger size of stuff you do up to a limit with like gems and the gold. Also, it makes like just a big fuck off necklace or whatever. It's pretty fun. Okay, we're just gonna sh stick these crates over here out of the way. Huh? Oh, I was gonna use this uh, TNT here. Just, it's not gonna do much good for us, but. Yeah, it, like, there's only a certain, like, distance it, like, makes skills up to. Alright, well, I've been holding on to this for a while just because I wanted to use it here when we finally came here to start working on it and we're, well, we're here, so let's, uh, press the button. Oh, God, that was loud. Ow. Why, why was that so loud? Oh, hey, a little block. Hey. Nice little scrap cube. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> that was uh, not pleasant. That was uh, unpleasant as fuck, actually. <laughs> We're gonna just leave this little cube here. I, can't, I don't know what to do with it. That little cube is the actual detonator switch for this little uh, TNT thing we blew up. Let's get our money out, and we'll, we'll leave the mo our money next to all the other junk we have, too. Okay, let's start digging. Because the, the pickaxes that the, the vanilla game provides you are very inadequate for digging something this size. So, the power of mods, we have one that's a fair bit bigger. I got, I got one to be surprised if this pickaxe digs holes that are almost as big as, like, this, like, I mean, they're not quite as big, but it's also no loud boom, like, flashbang noise or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> uh, I 
think like roughly from like here is where I'd want the like the the down to get to the digging part of things to go. If that makes any sense, because. Yeah, we're gonna have to use unstuck to get back out of this hole. Because I'm just interested in getting down to like the good stuff as soon as possible so we can start industrializing things. Because this dig is much, much deeper than the last place we were at. I think like the depth of Ember Cradle is like 5, and this one goes down to like 22. Which is absurd. Yeah, the last time I tried doing um, this in not without any mods, I was using the other pickaxe, and this was taking a lot longer. Which is, um, which you know, it's fine, but like, yeah, no, let's uh, Matter of fact, I'm just gonna. Okay, we've reached the point where we got into the depth of stuff that um, you have to use an explosive to get through. So we're gonna. I saw something weird and I dug at it. I hope I didn't. Hope I didn't just like destroy an artifact. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world if I did, cause whatever. It doesn't really get you anything super worthwhile enough to find all the artifacts anyway, but it's more of like a, oh, this is kind of cool to do kind of thing. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Alright, let's do Unstuck. Howdy, like Yos. Welcome. Hope you're doing well today, friend. We we're playing more Hydraneer, and we're finally, like, working on this big-ass land claim I bought, like, three streams ago. About to, uh, go get, like, a nuke and blow up the frickin' bottom of the frickin' hole down there. Because, <laughs> like, stuff like that's the only thing that can break Tier 3 dirt right now. Because this game's still, like, being developed and all that fun stuff. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need our money. And we'll drive our our water truck. <laughs> well, I'm at, I should probably buy like a bucket for this place. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the truck did not appreciate going near the crate, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> Early access game, people. It's fine. It's fine, I'll buff out, you know? Just your truck getting, fl like, fucking DBZ flung through the fucking, <laughs> through the fucking wilderness. And I got, well, I think I see why we got flung. I think those crates got, are still attached and they caused some problems. Other than, I don't know, just getting flung to places you're probably not meant to be driving when did these crates get there, by the way? I don't think I put them in there. That, that would explain why there are some problems there. Alright. Well, we're fine now. <laughs> we're fine now, I think. I wish it would have flung me the other way. It would have almost been, the t been to the town. Because this digs also really close to this town called Bridgepore, which... This is the main shopping hub for a lot of the, the cooler stuff in the game. Like, there's a vehicle store there, there's like carts over there, there's like conveyor belts there, and this way, ooh, tight, tight turn. This way will get us to like all the like the redstone logic y kind of shit. Which this is really cool and all, but like there's only one thing we're buying here right now. Uh, wherever it is. A mini, a, a mini nuke may cause extreme annihilation and loss of life. Oh, that's it? Okay, well. And yeah, these nukes cost like 26 grand a piece, which is fine because we've got like, um, well, we've got like 767 grand right now. Because after a certain point, money just starts losing like 
any sort of value in this game. Uh, let's see. We'll buy another one of these logic buttons for the nuke, and we're we're gonna get consumed in the freaking mushroom cloud whenever we activate this. It's probably gonna be loud, so um, I might like mute the uh, desktop audio while we do that, cause that might be a little unpleasant. It'll, it'll look cool, but it's gonna probably sound unpleasant, so we're gonna, like, not <laughs> have the audio alive for that. Because, like, it made, like, when we had, like, a little thing of TNT that we blew up, and it made, like, a really loud, like, ringing noise. Oh! Looks like our truck just ran out of water. Well, it's a good thing I'm here. I need. I, was, I, I did say I was gonna buy like a bucket or something. Anyway, so we're gonna run to the store, buy like a bucket or a pan or something. Uh, we'll put our, put money in here. Let's see. How about a pan? We'll buy a singular pan for twelve dollars. Put our money in there and carry our money with us anyway. And then we're gonna screw the well. We're gonna go to the river here and get some water. There's not even any water in the well there. Okay, we'll drop our money and the, the pan in there. Okay. And then let's go to our lovely little truck here. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell when your water is getting low in this, because like it looks like there's water in there, and then suddenly there's none, and then your truck doesn't move. It, it doesn't sound very happy that there's no water in there. Alright, let's see. Well, there's some water. We're gonna get another pan full while we're at it. <clears throat> we're not panning for gold, we're panning for water. <laughs> there's water in them thar hills. <laughs> I don't know if, I don't, I think I might have missed, but, you know. Yeah, I, I totally missed, because that's still flashing yellow of, like, being like, okay, you're kind of low on water. What am I doing? There's water right here. I'm a damn fool is what I'm doing. <laughs> what I'm being, rather. Okay, I definitely filled that time, so. Just, <laughs> just throw that into the fucking abyss. Alright. Now let's properly go back to our new place. New, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that, that was almost bad. Okay, so. Take our logic button. We're just gonna like toss it down the hole here because we gotta go down there anyway. And where is that nuke? Here we are. And we'll just hop down here and we're gonna place this thing like this, like as much into the wall as I possibly can with be, still being able to do stuff with it. Turn this the proper way. You know what? That'll work. And I'm going to, um, oh, shit, 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 <laughs> god damn it, <laughs> uh, did that even do anything, I don't know if it did anything yet, I don't fucking know, maybe, maybe I'm at the point where you can't dig anymore, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was, I went to go and click on the game again, and then it clicked to activate the button, <laughs> Fuck's sakes. And I'm a fool because I could... Okay, so it definitely did something. But probably not enough of something. So we're probably going to have to get another one. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'll have to, Before I place the nuke, I'll probably turn the sound off next time. Because 
Wowie, that was painful. <laughs> All right, uh, we have to do one stuck because we're down here in the hole. <laughs> okay, we'll just put this bed like over here. We'll sleep near the dirt, just like old times. Well, let's go back and get like probably two more nukes at this point. Are, are y'all excited for Pokemon? Because I, I, I definitely am. <laughs> I am extremely excited for the new Pokemon game. Yeah, we're gonna get like two of these damn things. Now we could like run a really long line from this thing like far away and set it up, but that's 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 baby that's baby shit. We're not doing that. We're gonna just stay withstand the the nuclear blast. Like just like like you do sometimes, you know. Just, sometimes you just gotta take a nuclear blast to the chest. <clears throat> Yeah, this time I'll mute up before we even, like, place the damn things, because, like, I know I don't want to hear that. I mean, I'm probably still going to hear it on my end, but, like, I'm going to take, like, a, one he headphone off <laughs> so I don't, like, completely die of noise. While I'm here, I'm gonna buy a few things from the store. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's see, do I have my, did I put my money back in here? No, I did not. You have to keep searching, see if anyone ever makes like a, a wallet mod that lets you just keep your money on your person. Like all the time, and then like let it, you just buy stuff that way. Cause I forget my money places more often than I would like, care to admit. <laughs> uh, oh. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. buy at least at least one of these we're gonna be buying like at least four of them in the f future total yeah we're gonna need an anvil as well and then a smithing hammer excuse me and probably a scale would be smart too and one of the one of these and one of these uh, scales to weigh our resources Eventually we'll need one of these too, so I might, just, might as well just buy it now. F funnels are cool, I haven't used them yet before, so well, maybe eventually we will, but it will try to add the item you're holding into the selected crate. Hmm. While holding it, left click on a crate to select it and right click to clear it's the crate then it Equip it and watch magic. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> watch magic. Well, that's vague. 
Uh, well. Start loading our stuff in there. Cause getting this um, like this blacksmithing hammer and the uh, anvil and stuff will let us um, make things out of the gold that we brought with us in case we need more money. Cause these pipes are a little more expensive than these one other tier one ones were. So pipe costs are gonna be a little high compar in comparison, but. We have so much money and we can make so much money that it probably doesn't really matter. Especially since while we're doing all this garbage I'm doing right now, the stuff at the original place is still just humming away, making more metal and all that, so. We're literally just we're we're literally just using time to just do more stuff. While the other stuff is just going anyway, so. It's pretty nice. like a rolling stop all right so we're gonna like just kind of put some of this stuff over here it doesn't really matter where they go as long as they go just get out of the way Like, this stuff is basically just emergency stuff in case I need to make some more money. Otherwise, it's just gonna hang out here until I get the infrastructure set up for what I want to actually do with this place, which... Kind of kind of what we did with the last place, except on a much grander scale with a lot more machines. Okay, we're gonna drop this down the hole here. I'll drop one of the nukes too, cause we're gonna be blowing up another one. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the uh, <laughs> desktop audio before we mute before we blow that one up, cause yeah, uh, let's see, cause we're at something up. This guy, yep. We're gonna place these crates because that way they won't like get mysteriously dragged along with the truck like last time. I think that might have been what happened. I don't don't really know, but okay. And there's our handy dandy water pan. We'll offload these so that we can use them next, but we're not gonna use them until after we use the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna mute desktop audio real fast and then we're gonna blow up another nuke. Because I'll subject myself to this noise, but I don't wanna subject y'all to this noise because we slip, slip, slop. The freaking mushroom cloud underground. <laughs> well, really, Matt, that's gonna be a big ass explosion. Oh, hey, I think. Oh, that's. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. Why are there two pieces of scrap here? I don't know if I want to know why there are two pieces of scrap here. Does... That means we might have, um... Blow, we might have vaporized the relic that was on this map. <laughs> uh, oh well, I think there's a mod that lets you uh, respawn those anyway. So if it really, if I really care, I'll just do that. All right. So it looks like I found the bottom of this place because like the dirt looks like this and goes like that. So we'll have to just like tidy up. I don't think there's currently anything you can use these for outside of like modded items. Because there's some like mods that add like. I think this mod in particular adds like a scrap pickaxe that takes like a lot of that um, scrap metal. So. Otherwise, I don't think there's a real use for it yet. Maybe in the next update. Or maybe not. I don't. Who knows? But. Let's get this next nuke in there. And again, I'll, uh, we'll, uh, mute up before actually blowing this thing up. And also, like, look away from <laughs> the clicky thing, because otherwise we're just gonna do it again and fuck up. Alright, so let's, uh... <laughs> Whoa! Alright. <laughs> well, that's fun. I guess. A little unfortunate we'll have to spend 26 grand for every one of those nukes to do this, but... Because currently there's no other way to blow up this, like, basically bedrock shit down here. Okay, that should be the, uh... Yeah, I'm like 85% sure that the, th the, the second that one of those two pieces of scrap metal from the last nuke was the freaking artifact that's supposed to be on this map. Whoopsie doodles. Well, I guess we can consolidate these into like a scrap bar or something. Not that it's gonna do us any good, but it's at least less shit. At first, I thought the scrap metal uh, melted down into like iron, which is I thought of like, oh, that'd be super useful, just like. You know, it's its own, um, thing. It's kind of, can't really be used for anything. Well, the only thing we can really do is, um... The graphics are nice. It's just nice, it's a nice looking game for what it is. Fire particles are sweet. It's like kind of voxely, kind of, but not quite. <laughs> just, just a, just a, it's just a, it's just a fucking cryptid ass. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Just, just shuffle around. <laughs> it's about Betty by time, huh? <clears throat> oh, it's dark as shit. But yeah, we're gonna... Honestly, at this point, we're gonna just, um... Take one of our crates with us and buy just, like, multiple nukes, because... We want to uh, clear out some space down there to start doing some work. It's going to get very expensive. 
But that's fine because I can just make more money very easily. Like, 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 let's just demonstrate how easily I can just make more money. Let's see. Let's, we'll move this thing, like, somewhere where we can see it. I mean, that's a little silly to put it there, but. Because, like, this uh, gold bar is worth, like, This bar by itself is worth like 1.1 million dollars, <laughs> and that's before we use it to make something. That being said, we do need to actually buy another little furnace to um, melt things. Yeah, that's right. You can like this. Um, Like, this can still act as the scale even without being, like, properly placed down. So, you can kind of put it wherever you want. But we need to, um, go buy stuff. Anyway, we need to go buy stuff anyway. So, we'll, um, we'll go buy what I need from the store. Stores, rather. And come back and I'll just make, like, a big-ass fucking necklace or something. And make some money that way. Because I, I, I forgot to buy a small furnace to heat up our bars with. Because you can't cold work stuff in this game. Like if you want to make stuff out of your, your bars. Like jewelry or like the swords or whatever. You have to heat them up. Heat me up. <laughs> Alright. So here's the normal. Here's the tool store basically. Let's stop here and try not to get turned around because I always get disoriented by getting out of this van this truck toss our money in there um, I just completely lost my train of thought there we go found it because <laughs> we need one of these small furnaces for actually melting bars back down well not melting them but just heating them up all right and then now let's go buy some more nukes because we're gonna want to clear out a good amount of that area and clean stuff up too so we're gonna buy like honestly probably like 10 more nukes like 10 more of those little levers all right so we're gonna grab these crates <laughs> that way let's grab one of these nukes we'll drop it in the front of here <laughs> the Wilhelm scream I love it okay and then what we can do now is um, go to here when we click where it says unpaid we can we can click to add more of them without having to like mainly grab e each single one of them. Like this mod is like a fucking massive core life. Cause now, unfortunately it does make things more expensive. Cause I think there's like an 18% markup on stuff you buy with this, but you can buy bulk. So I don't have to like haul 10 nukes all into my truck. I can just um, haul, I can just haul the box instead. Which is really fucking useful. So we're gonna do one of these as well. Okay, and well, that's gonna take up a lot of our money, but we're gonna use, we're gonna remake some more money when we get back. So it's not gonna really matter. Like once you get your your stuff all your like infrastructure all set up, you don't really need money anymore or anyway. Okay, we're gonna want this crate to. Oh! Hello? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Come back! Come back, crate! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Come back!
back, buddy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Now, I will say that's probably not the game... <laughs> that's probably not the game's fault, because this is a modded item. So, I can't really blame the game. I'm not going to any, because that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> But I love shit like that. As long as I can, you know, find it and it's, like, not gonna, like, lose me a lot of stuff. Like, sure, just have goofy shit happen like that. It adds charm. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was also gonna buy, like, a, like a bunch of, um, the w these wooden uh, ladders. Not ladders, they're stairs. They're, they're kind of, like, weird, like, mix of stair and ladder. It's like these guys so that we can get in and out of our hole that we're making now so let's get another let's get like 25 of these that way like if we have extras we'll find somewhere to use them <laughs> okay make sure we don't forget our money because I do that often Okay, stay. Good crate. That's a good crate. Let's roll get yeah, a nice roll and stop there. Let's get out. First things are grab this furnace. I'm just kind of shove it like I don't know. You can go in there right now. It doesn't. It don't fucking matter. Uh, let's get. Let's click on this to cycle to jewelry. Currently, the the biggest jewel you can make is takes two gold bars and a gem. Uh, as well, where as you see, we have one gold bar, but we can. Uh, Get on the fucking thing. Thank you. We can heat this bar up. This is just being ornery, you know? Let's move this closer. You gotta just slam dunk it in there. Alright, so. <clears throat> We're gonna use this onyx gem because I've I have not used some an onyx gem to create jewelry before, so I'm curious. It's all mostly because these are like the rarest gems, rare the rarest of the four gems. It's worth a decent amount. I can't imagine I can imagine there's other gems that are worth more though. Like emeralds are the most common, so it's probably just yeah, that's worth more than the onyx is. Uh, let's see. I think that was 89. That's 75, and the ruby's probably worth a second. It's actually worth less than the Onyx, so. Emerald is going to be used because it's just worth the most. So we'll just kind of gently, nope. Gently, the, it's, it looks like a rupee. I like I like that. Alright, so now our bar is nice and hot. Let's make sure we have all our stuff handy because we're going to need to use the saw to split this one bar into two. So we'll quickly grab that. Plus there, saw and a half, grab a hammer, and BAM! And now we have a emerald necklace that we can sell for 1.4 million dollars. <laughs> See, easy, you know? And we'll hold on to that, because don't really need more money right this second anyway, but I figured doing something like that in case we need more money is smart. Okay, we're gonna put these crates over here out of the way. <clears throat> they can just float there for a minute. Okay, we'll take our money out too, so I don't like forget about it or leave it somewhere or any of that. Any of the various fun things that can happen when you have less than a full brain cell. 
Okay, so let's we're gonna do a few more of these nukes. So we're gonna just drop a nuke down, just just casually drop a nuke down a hole, and a button too, and and again I'm gonna mute desktop audio while we're doing this nuke shit because it sounds terrible and I don't want y'all off to hear it. So give me a sec. Fucking mushroom cloud up close is like, like it, it genuinely makes a mushroom cloud. Okay, got that little area nice and cleaned up. S still, still just puffing out. Maybe I, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, it was just finishing up. All right, so now we got a nice clean approach here. We're gonna be using the rest of the nukes to just make this deeper in, so that we can make set up a bunch of machines and all that. So currently, we're using unstuck to get out of this hole. Brilliant fucking idea for them to have that in this game. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get another one in there. Oh, yeah, there's the there's our button. <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> I'll let that finish itself out. We're doing we're we're doing all this before I um put ladders and stuff in because they'll probably just destroy the ladders anyway so Whee. yeah it's really hard to dig through this shit <clears throat> it's, it's almost definitely by design okay well Gonna drop these in here. We'll get these little, 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 little cube dudes out of here. Little scrap cubes. And now we have another scrap bar. Now you can have a little friend. <laughs> okay, let's sleep again because it's getting a little dark. Let's see. Yep, desktop audio is going to be off for a little bit. And you can chain multiple nukes together, but that that'd be wasteful cuz I'm trying to dig a certain way, not like If I if I was trying to like mass clear out an area, which maybe I will do after after this one. Like, maybe I'll just start cleaning out, like, a bunch of area. You can just, like, set one off and then just have them all blow up at the same time. <clears throat> See, I don't know how... I don't know the radius of these, so I don't, exactly, so I don't want to, like, put it too high up and have it, like, not, like, clear out the bottom as well if that makes any sense 
Flashbang. <laughs> Yeah, even with these nukes, it would take a while to clear out this whole dig. Like, look at all these. We'll just go on a little, a little adventure throughout this dig site here, cause like, there's a lot. It's, I don't know if this is the biggest one, but it's pretty damn close. Like, there's all this digging area. Like, it's just so much. <laughs> and to get your water on this map, cause all your machines run off of water, you have to come from the sea. We'll, we'll deal with that later. We're just trying to get down to the to a point where we can start setting up our machines. Oh, there's a nice little dock here, too. It's kind of cute. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Back to the hole. We must return to the hole. <clears throat> Right, this time, we're going to do like three of them and just kind of blow up a big area because whatever. Whee! <clears throat> and I'm hoping that I'll only need like one lever this time since we're going to blow up multiples. Got three nukes sitting on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Alright. So, I think that's about the height I want to put them at. Just to make sure that we've got... Hopefully that blows up all of them. If not, then it's going to be a little awkward, but. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've like, the sound that this makes when it blows up is atrocious. I'm not going to subject y'all to that. Uh, so let's. <laughs> Whoa, your, your character is, like, essentially immortal. Because he just took a freaking three nuke blast to the face. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, it didn't hit those two. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Hey, I, I did say it would be awkward if it didn't work, so... Maybe those two are close enough where they will. If not, then whatever. We'll just do them one at a time. It's not the end of the world. Because clearing out more space down here in general is just good. And unfortunately, this is the only way we can really do it. Like, there are... Like, the one of the... I have a mod that makes you lets you get better pickaxes than Vanilla provides. And one of them just clears all the dirt in the claim. But that's not... I don't want to do that. Because, well... That's not fun. No, right, whatever. We're down here. Let's just experience the... Oh, yeah. This one just didn't get blown up, so... They might have to be, like, actually touching to chain detonate. Let's see. All right, well, we've started digging a, a decent little sized cavern here. Um, we'll put this 
put this one here, I guess. Gonna get a bit more boom this way. Kinda stick it partially in the wall to try to get as much like useful area as possible. Well, <clears throat> a, li a little awkward that it didn't, like, chain blow up like I was hoping it would, but I bet if I put a bunch of them next to each other, it would work that way, but, eh, whatever. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, hey, nice cube. The rest of the mushroom cloud's like up there. Well, Get out of the hole again. <laughs> I'm going to try to daisy chain these last four. Just because I think that would be interesting to have it actually work. But I think the way I was thinking it would happen is like if they were in the, the blast radius, they would get activated. But I think they have to be like next to each other to maybe all chain off like that. <clears throat> So we're going to find out for science. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so let's just put all these like right next to each other. Set to set this up. Maybe I should move one of these over a little bit more. Yeah, we'll move it over here. Mm. Can I stick these in a the wall at all to get more... Uh, get more useful blast area than what I was going to get. Alright, well, let's see if it works. Oh, Jesus. Ow. <laughs> I think it worked. <laughs> God damn, that was loud. <laughs> like, like, think of how bad it, hurt, it sounded to have one of them, one thing blow up, and then there was four. Oh, God, that was terrible. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that definitely worked. They're gone. They're just gone. <laughs> Well, that might be, well, that's all of our nukes and a lot of our money. <laughs> just just up in smoke. Uh, well, I can turn the sounds back on now because we're not going to be doing any more nukes for the moment. Let's get unstuck and see if we can start putting some... Um, Some ladders in <clears throat> or stairs or whatever so let's find out placing stuff in this game is so damn awkward <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I don't have any other building blocks yet to really use here, so it's just kind of like weird. I'm gonna use my bed as a building block. Not quite. <laughs> um, we might just have to go buy some. That's okay. <clears throat> that is very within, very much within our capabilities of doing. Probably need to buy some other crap too. We can sell this while we're in town. I think the jeweler is right here. I mean, it makes sense that we're selling this to a jeweler, the jeweler, but the jeweler is just the one that just buys everything in the game for money. So we just put it on this little table, and yeah, it's uh, it's 1.4 mil hydro coins or whatever. Yep, hydro coins. Couldn't remember if that's what they were called or not. <laughs> we just stack our money together, and we have 1.8. Uh, 1.8 mil. That's a decent. That uh, might be the most I've had in one sitting. Uh, I, I know I was coming here to buy. Oh, these concrete floor bits. Uh, we're gonna just uh, buy a, a bunch of them. We'll just buy a hundred. They're, ver they're very cheap, but very useful for just building nice flat surfaces on. I tend to prefer them. Get it in the fucking box. I don't know what kind of turn that was, but it was not very good. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. Get our concrete floor box. I'm just kind of keep it over here. See, we're doing it this way. We can, um, but we're likely gonna set it like this instead. It'll take it'll take like an extra ladder or uh, stair or two to get in and out or whatever. But like, it'll be a lot more stable being above the dirt line here because sometimes blocks don't want to place in like the layer below this one and so it can be just tedious unless you build above like the ground level <clears throat> move this stairs box closer to us as well and then we can just kind of grab stairs from the box and down we go this is way faster than the other way method of buying and building stuff which would involve um 
individually buying all 18 of these stairs, stacking them in your truck, and then bringing them back. Like, it's realistic, but it's... This is... These, these crates are a massive quality of life. Uh, no, I might, yeah, we need this pickaxe to smooth out our little descent. <clears throat> More stairs. Okay. Stairs. 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 A wah wah. A wah wah. Hello, Hug Dispenser. Hope you're doing well, my friend. We're playing more of the diggy diggy build game, and I we're actually doing stuff on this place now instead of just talking about doing stuff on this place. You missed, you missed the freaking light show. We were blowing up some nukes earlier. <laughs> because, like, a certain at a certain depth on these uh, higher tier dig sites, you have to use nukes to blow up, like, the bedrock. <laughs> to get down as deep as you can get. Because the deeper you are, the better stuff, the, like, the bigger resources you get. Right, more stairs. Let's keep putting them in. <clears throat> Currently just trying to make the way to get in and out of this this hole without having to do unstuck every single time. And we'll worry about that more as we're putting more of these ladders down. I keep calling them ladders. They're stairs. I'm 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 fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm a little stupid. Probably gonna regret putting these all in here because at some point I'm gonna need to use more nukes. Like, like some point actually soon, cause like, yeah. <laughs> Hadre, thanks. Appreciate ya. Got some coffee here that I'm gonna finish up. Bye bye. Uh, and I still have, I have, I have actual water too. <clears throat> I will drink water. Thanks. <laughs> It's been a while, you should drink a bit. Yeah, it's been so long. It's been like five seconds since I last drank something. I'm gonna I'm gonna wither away in these conditions. Water your beans, folks. <laughs> Freshly watered beans. It's like steamed hams, but it's watered beans. Oh yeah, we're we're we're, we're gonna need more uh, to blow up some more nukes. To get fully down here.
I underestimated that, so. We're gonna grab our stairs box. We're gonna bring it down here. We're gonna pick up some of these stairs and take them back. Because we're gonna blow up another mm -hmm. nuke or two, mm -hmm. at least. We'll have to go buy some more. But. <clears throat> I now at the very least know where I need where I need to blow up because last previously I was just kind of blowing it up indiscriminately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like fucking Scooby Doo. All right, and then I can just use the uh, unstuck command to get out of the hole with our with our crate in tow. Put that there. Rot row. We'll grab our pick and we'll tidy things up a little bit, and then we're gonna have to go buy more, more nuclear bombs. <laughs> that was a good rut row, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Racket! <laughs> God. <laughs> Scooby Doo says a slur. Slurby Doo. <laughs> Just reminds me of this freaking. Um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get like destroyed. Getting get an orbital nuked from Twitch for saying this, but like, there's this Twitch, this is a Tumblr thing I saw where it's like, like, I'm at, like, like the synonymous for like, uh, punk was used synonymously for, you know, the F slur. And, um, and it's like, what if that took on where it wasn't like punk rock, it was F slur rock, or like cyber F slur? <laughs> I want to say it so bad, but I would get I would get like just destroyed on forever on Twitch. More than I probably already am anyway. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, okay, that's actually pretty funny. All right, so we need more nukes. Should have one of these uh, boxes. Well, we can buy we can buy another box in town, actually. Because these boxes can hold a lot in them, but as a result, their price multiplier is much higher. But we can buy, like, a basic box that can hold, like, up to ten things, which is more than enough to buy, like, ten nukes. And the price multiplier won't be nearly as high, which, with the nukes costing 26 grand a piece, yeah, you don't want a big price multiplier on that. For no good reason. Alright, so let's s <laughs> swing back on over through here to our the little crate shop yeah like this the crate here has like a, a, a one time price a one times price multiplier like that's three percent but we're, we're gonna buy like we'll buy one of these uh, mm -hmm. trash crates "Quote unquote trash crates." Trash. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it can only hold like ten, like ten to twenty items max or so, but that's more than enough. Cause I mean, we're we're buying some nukes now so that we can um, clear out some actual space to put our ladders in. And then we can start working on getting infrastructure made up, and I just, I missed the turn. <clears throat> Here we go. The, expl the, the, the technology shot, basically. 
Like at some point we'll be coming back here to buy stuff like these durability readers so we can make another system like we have back at Ember Cradle that automatically fixes our um, water filters. But for now we're buying nuclear bombs. Okay, so we'll grab one of these mini nukes. Yeah, it can hold, it can hold uh, up to, to 10, which is fine. That's perfectly fine by me, and they shouldn't cost any more than... Yeah, okay, so that's actually really ideal, because we can buy 10 nukes at a time, and the price there's not a price markup, which is nice, because... With the, the big max level crates I was using, there's like an 18% price markup, and we don't really need like a thousand freaking nukes anyway, so buying 10 at a time for no price markup is fine by me, actually. It's ideal. It's still really expensive, but. But like 18% of like 260 is like a whole nother freaking nuke that you just don't get if you use that bo big box or whatever, so. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Let's properly turn. Now, while I'm here, I probably should buy at least some pipes. Yeah, well, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just crashing into everything. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Just. Fuck, motherfucker needs to take a driver's test. That's me, I'm motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so let's put this in here, and we're gonna buy... We'll need at least one of these, but... With the way the crates work, we could, um... We could have, like, one of these crates like this, and if it, if it contains something you can buy from a shop, you can just re-up the supply that's in the shop, in the box, and then pay for the new stuff. So it can be like really convenient to like just have like one like one thing you want to buy and then put it in a crate then bring the crate and then just like put the crate down here and like increase the, the amount and then pay for it and then you're basically good to go. None of this like stacking garbage like this. Uh, we're buying like one of each thing that way if when we need to buy more things we can just come back and buy more things okay we already got an elbow on, on the list here let's buy a T yeah, these pipes are are noticeably more expensive than the um, the iron pipes we have back at the other place. But we do need at least some of these things to kind of get started. With the whole um, water system here. Because we'll be using tier 2 pipes exclusively here. Because they give you much higher water pressure overall. Especially once they're boosted. I think it gets up to like... It gets significantly higher than the iron pipes can even think of supporting oh. the Claudian pipes also um, lose less pressure per pipe because each pipe section you lay down from the source decreases the water pressure by 2.5 percent because as you go as you make more line more space for it to be pressure it's less concentrated I guess I don't know it looks like our truck needs to be refilled when we get back to the when we get back to the base we can we can do that um, after we set up our little water system that we got stuff for right now let's sleep though because it's getting it's getting dark.
Let's move this box out of the way. Let's see, where did I leave my pan? It's it's camouflaged rather well. <laughs> I wonder how far out into the water you can go. After I fill my truck up, I'm gonna f I'm gonna find out how far it'll let you go before you either like makes you come back or like you just kind of can't go. Come on, get on, get up there. I probably just missed. I 100% just missed. <laughs> God damn it. Now a cool and funny way to do this would be to like set up a specific, specific spot where when you drive your truck into water drips and drops right into the tank. But I've never had the patience to do that but maybe with this build I should. Okay so at least some of it got in there. It's good enough. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so get some more nukes. We're actually gonna keep, hold on to one nuke. We're not gonna use all ten of them. That way, because we have we have one nuke here, I can do the thing at the store, like I explained, where you just put it in the store thing, and then like you go to like this um, input thing, and then just keep adding more to it, and then you can just buy more really quickly without to go back to that one same store we went to previously. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's grab some more of these ladders and take them back upstairs because I don't want them to get blown up. Because once again, we are going to um, set off some nukes and I'm going to be turning the desktop audio on OBS off because it is obscenely loud when these nukes blow up. It makes a really loud ringing noise that is pretty uncomfortable. So I don't want to subject y'all to that. I will listen to it because, you know, what else am I going to do? Like, I can probably take my my earphones off while that happens, but... but yeah, I don't want to have to make y'all hear that, because y'all can't... Well, I mean, I guess you could take your headphones off, but, eh, whatever. So, let's grab a mini nuke. As you do. I'm just going to gently toss it in the hole. It just rolls around, no big deal. And then I should have bought more buttons, but whatever. We'll cross that bridge when we get to that. Alright, so. So now that I kind of know where I need to blow up the nuke up, I can probably put it like over. Oh, there's another <laughs> little cube there. These little cubes that are left in the hole here are the uh, these buttons that have been blown up by nukes. Yeah, we're gonna set it like right there. Hopefully that's, eh, just to be sure we'll um, put it in here and make sure we try to get this too. Okay, we're gonna look away from it before I turn desktop audio off, because I don't want to ha- The first one I blew up, I accidentally didn't turn away, and it blew up before I could turn desktop audio off. Yeah. We're gonna just... God, that noise is terrible. It might have blown up one of these... It might have actually blown up one of these ladders, despite my best efforts of clearing the way. I don't really know. It probably did. <laughs> but yeah, we just gotta just casually have a mushroom cloud in our little digging hole here. I'm gonna need to put one like right here next. Okay, well. Well, let's do one stuck to get out of the hole again. <laughs> Grab another mini nuke. 
Let's drop it down the ladder. Whee! <laughs> it's like a football. I guess that's why they call it the football. Like, like if like the president has like nuclear codes, like he's got the football. It's like he can fire the nukes or some shit. I guess I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll just put this one like over here or something. Cause we'll clear this bit out and then we'll probably just dig more into this. But yeah, I'm absolutely not subjecting y'all to this noise that's about to happen again, because it's bad. Like, I don't have my headphones on anymore at this point, <laughs> because of just how gruesome that noise is on my ears. Like, really loud noises can be really overwhelming and just bad for my brain, so like, this noise is pretty close to being unbearable. Oh, come on, are you serious? So we gotta use another one, like, right there to, like, make sure this gets blown up, because... I mean, not really, because, like, this area, this whole downward grade here isn't really usable space. But, so, I probably don't need to worry about blowing that up. Eventually I will, but for now we'll just focus our efforts, like, down here to actually get some like workable land to put our drills and stuff in Oops, just dropped the nuke um yeah probably shouldn't use this last one I probably should go buy more from the store actually yeah we'll go buy we'll, we'll do the I'll show you how these crates work for buying more stuff from the store cuz yeah Do I have another crate somewhere that's empty? I do not. I, all my all my crates have currently have stuff in them, <laughs> which means I probably need to buy more. So these crates are pretty useful. Okay, well, we'll just empty this other stuff out of the out of the car. Stack all of our little pipes over here in a nice little row. Let's see, it is about ten. Before the end of the stream, I do want to go back to the Ember Cradle and like collect the resources that have been just happening over there. Cause while we've been just fucking off over here in this place, our original place has still been just cranking out resources. For the most part, since we have it to where things auto repair it can just run for a long ass time so it's really handy that we can just have that running and getting us more stuff while we're doing this because this place will eventually produce far far more things than that place could ever think of producing because it's deeper so the stuff we get is much gonna be much bigger to start with I think and then it's, it's just kind of like scales a little bit I believe okay so so let's say we have this logic button here. This isn't even the store that sells them, but if we go to, if we click left click roughly where this is, this is like unpaid one now. We're gonna do that. And so it rings up the price for six of these because it can recognize this item. So it knows the price of the item and then does that. And then we can just grab our money, put it in here in this completely unrelated shop and now we have seven in here. It's so it, I cannot overstate how much of a quality of life these this mod is. It's ridiculous. Just how much more you can do when you don't have to worry about stacking like twenty ladders or stairs or whatever in the back of this fucking truck. <laughs> uh, let's see, is there anything else I should buy while I'm here? Hmm. Just trying to think if there's anything I need necessarily. Uh, I mean, well, that's a tier two pickaxe. Probably not a bad idea to have a construction hammer for over here. And 
Eventually, we will need like uh, five of these. So I might as well just buy them now. Because these are the water filters that I have that system over there at the other place to fix. Because these, because if you don't filter your water, your machines will take damage from the impurities. But if you have water filters, only the filters take damage, not your machines, which is more worth your time. Like in the beginning, when you have like when you can only buy like one, one, like two machines total, it's more worth your time just to fix the machines when they break. But once you get to the point where you have like more than five machines, it's more worth your time to set up the uh, the filter system. And honestly, I'd say it's even more worth your time anyway because. If the filters break, they'll stop. Your stuff will stop working. But like, it's a lot. E if you can make it a lot easier to get to your filters than it is to get to your machines when you have like a, just a big like rat's nest of fucking pipes and shit everywhere. So it's it's usually better to just to set up the filter thing as soon as you feasibly can. And the construction hammer here lets you like quote unquote nail things down. To where you can't like accidentally pick them up, like floors and like machines, and it's gen it's generally useful to do whenever possible. Yeah, let's. Okay, I wasn't sure if it like properly went in there because like it went in there, but I was like, hmm, I can't see it. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Brains like a gerbil, <laughs> or maybe that's maybe that's being rude to gerbils. <laughs> I'll tell you what, like being overwhelmed is not fun. <laughs> so sometimes it just sometimes it just happens, and you're just like, oh well, I guess it's this time. Anyway, we got. We got more little buttons like I needed to get, and we got some more stuff that I was going to need to buy eventually anyway, so we'll just buy it now. And one of the main reasons I'd want to go back to Dumber Cradle before the stream ends and get our stuff from there that's been cooking away is the uh, there's some boost, there's some like intake booster items you can make for your pipes that you need to make yourself at Ice Town, which is just like up the road that way, like it's the big ice mountain there. You have to make those yourself, along with these, uh, all these like kind of cloudy, these cloudium drills and stuff. I made these myself too. Like, like each of these, uh, cloudium drill, like drills t took like 300 cloudium a piece, which is not fast to get at the Ember Cradle, so it's kind of been working up to it, like over the course of a few streams. Okay, so now we got more buttons. We can use more nukes after we fucking sleep because it's just dark. You know what? At this point, I think I'm just gonna rip the band aid off and we're gonna turn on creative mode and get the hourglass item that lets us pause time because I'm tired of the day night cycle. I'm, I'm just tired of it. Like when you turn creative mode on on your world and you turn it off, there's like some still with some weirdness that goes on. But at this point, I figured we have so much money, it doesn't really matter if we're on creative mode or not because we're not like, I'm not going to steal shit. So uh, we'll just turn creative mode on. There's only w There's only one thing I want and it is the hourglass. So we're gonna, first we're gonna sleep so that we can get to a decent time in the day. Let's actually empty things first before I just start driving around again. Like, I'm pretty sure in Creative Mode you could probably just like increment these as high as you want, but we're gonna try to avoid doing that because. 
I still like to just genuine. I still like to genuinely get stuff myself in games like this because creative mode just kind of feels like you're feels cheaty, which I mean it is. But like it, like if I'm playing games like this, I want to like grind and get stuff myself. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel good. Like there's no like, oh well, look, I did this and this and we had an exper we experienced it and had a good time interacting with the the, ga the the games like systems and intricacies and jank and all that fun stuff like I don't know I just prefer to play these kind of games not in a creative sort of situation and, and for, it's reasons like that that I've just never been able to really enjoy creative mode in Minecraft either because it's like I, mean, I could build stuff but like just building stuff for the sake of it on your own is not always very fun, and I usually play a lot of these games by myself, so it's like... Granted, when I'm playing these games on stream, I can show people that are watching, which is more more interactive than it usually is. But, like, yeah, like, historically, I've not been able to enjoy, like, creative mode stuff. Because it's like, what's the point? If I'm just playing by myself, what's the point of doing this creative mode stuff? I think you can still pay for stuff in uh, creative mode. Oh, yeah, the, the hourglass is like we'll still pay for one, one, two, eight. You know, we'll still pay for this because yeah that's kind of my that's kind of that's kind of what I was saying too is like what's the point of a creative mode if I can just get anything I want when I don't have to do anything to get it like I, I much more prefer playing like where I have to like I don't know interact interact with the game in some meaningful way to do something like the only reason I'm even going into this creative mode is because you can buy this hourglass item lets you pause time like we can have like it pause at like the height of noon and just stay that time forever and stuff happened to like sleep and it's just dark and annoying just yeah like as soon as I get this hourglass placed down and we're done dealing with it pro granted and creative you can literally build anywhere so like you could build in places you're not supposed to like out here we could just put the hourglass out here you could like pipe into air you can just build anything you want anywhere on the map in creative mode, which can be funny in this game. Like I've seen some people do some funny stuff, like like get a like get a whole bunch of resources going and then just dump them all in the store or something like that. Like you can do some fun stuff with it, but just playing in it is not something I would want to do. Can I just drop the damn thing? Okay. <laughs> the shadow just it gets gets shorter. It's growing in power. I'm guessing that's probably cl pretty close to the ideal time. So now we're gonna save and return to menu and not be in creative mode because yeah. Cause if you're in creative mode in this game, you can like just buy any, you can just buy anything you want without having to actually have the money. Like you'll just buy it for you even if you don't have the money available. Which early on can just kind of be like, oh, well, what, like, why don't I just go to do the biggest thing? I mean, it, it can be, it can be fun, just not for me. Like I don't like, I'm not trying to rag on anyone that enjoys playing creative mode and stuff like this, but it's not for me. Because what, what someone does in their own single player fucking video game does not matter to me in the fucking slightest. Like, whatsoever. Like, I could care less. Okay, so we shouldn't. Okay, something's really fucking laggy now with this. I don't know what changed. Maybe the hourglass is just really laggy. I don't fucking know. Well, we can still pick up and intera intera interact with it, so I don't... What is going on? 
It's not my computer. Like, OBS is saying my CPU is running at like 1.3%. Oh, oh. I think it's this. I think the truck was having some some trouble somehow, some way. I, I don't know what's going on. Oh. Let's just uh, take my money out of this truck before it decides to lift off into the fucking stratosphere. What is going on? <laughs> is the game, did the game just like fundamentally break somehow? Like this truck is like trying to fucking like bounce on its own like look at this what is going on <laughs> what uh we're gonna reopen the game maybe there's like just i don't know what's going on i don't know what the fuck's going on <laughs> it's just like having a uh, it's having a moment but yeah, the uh, the farming update for this game comes out on the 9th of December, it looks like. Okay, the game loaded pre up pretty quick. I was expecting it to take longer load because it did last time. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe it will load better. <clears throat> like, maybe whatever is going on is fixed now I'm reloading the game uh no trucks still fucked um like is it fine if I leave if I like go away from the truck I I don't know what's going on or why things are acting this way is it the fucking hourglass? Because if it is, I'll just, like, move it somewhere else. Because maybe it's... I have no idea. Maybe I need to move this somewhere else. Maybe it's causing, like, temporal destruction. I have no idea why the game's acting like this now. I wonder if there's some weirdness going on at the Ember Quarry. Because, like, the, the game's having some trouble. So there might maybe some maybe something fucked up over there. And there's, like, a backup somewhere of some kind. I'm just carrying this hourglass around like a weirdo. Yeah, and all the creative stuff that's normally here isn't there anymore f to buy, so... Normally there's, like, stuff you can buy there for, like... Like, something like you, like, duplicate items and... F a, f a, cat, a little hat that when you wear it lets you fly around, like... You know, creative flight. Yeah, I've got a sneaking suspicion something's going on in Ember Quarry that's causing our, uh... Our strife. Because the, uh, the big automated systems seem to have a little bit of a weirdness that happens whenever you um, reload when they're still going. So there might be a bunch of like dirt particles backed up or something. Well, well, we're about to find out. And if that's the case, then that's at least an easy fix. We can just... Do, there's like an option that lets you delete all like, r like loose resources. Oh God! Oh God! What happened? Oh Jesus Christ! What? The <laughs> okay. I suspected this is what was gonna happen. <laughs> Let's uh, we're gonna. This will remove all raw resources in the world. Uncut gems or click go. Okay. Problem solved. The problem being 
something happened and like the universe decided to like have a conniption. <laughs> We're also gonna remove all uh, all uh, dirt chunks too. Like, go get out of here. Honestly, we probably should be doing that at the start of every stream anyway, just to make sure things are running nicely. Because, like... Okay, now they're... Now, okay, now the dirt's starting to come up through again. Alright. My, my thought was either something with the truck was going on, or... Or what... Or just weirdness in general. Thankfully, it's not the hourglass, so we can still play with that and have... Like, not, like, nighttime ever again. None of that mystery is solved. And I think the reason that happened is because I closed the game and reopened it, and that, like, caused some disconnect here and made stuff fly everywhere, which is unfortunate because that was a decent amount of resources that I just had to clear out for, like, no nothing. Like, we got nothing out of doing that clear, those clear commands. But I'd rather have the game run decently than lose out on, like, admittedly little resources. Waku Waku. No, Waku Waku. Ooh, woo. <laughs> How are you doing today? doing today, Hug Dispenser? I hope you are doing good. I wonder if the truck's still having weird bouncing issues now that the game is no longer, like, having a massive backup of resources. Didn't announce on your Well, that fucking sucks. Sorry about that. I don't know if there's anything I can really do about that, because I heard it. I think it was, like, Waku Waku. Okay, the truck seems to have recovered from its stage fright. <laughs> Testa. Nope, Chuck Testa. Alright, well, while we're at it, we're gonna... So do, I have, do I have a lever down here? I don't know. We have several levers that were, that were down here. Nice shovel you got. Yeah, this is a really fun shovel. It's a, it's a nuclear bomb shaped shovel. When you're down this far, you have to use nukes to clear out all this like bedrock shit. Okay, and I don't think we have any uh, lev levers down here. Let's grab them. All these little scrap metal cubes are previous levers that have been used to make things happen. Let's see, logic button, there we go. Yeah, I, I, oh, I just, I still have the desktop audio off, that's because these uh, nukes make a god-awful sound whenever they uh, blow up, and I don't want to have have y'all hear it. I, I'll deal with hearing it, but not, I'm not going to make y'all listen to it, because it's not fun. Like, I'm taking my headphones off now before I even click this, and I can still hear it. <laughs> like, that's how loud that shit is. Yeah, like, that's why the desktop audio has been off. That might have been why you didn't hear the Waku Waku as well. I'm sorry about that. Um... I heard it on my end, but it might not have came through otherwise. <sighs> I just realized that. But yeah, like, that's... We got distracted by the world having a, a meltdown because I closed and reopened the game. So, uh, we're going to set up a few more nukes before I un... Like, mute the desktop audio, because these things are fucking loud. 
just <laughs> drop that down there, you know. As you do, just drop a nuclear bomb down a freaking mine shaft. How did I how did I miscount that? You know what, whatever, it doesn't matter. What the waku waku or the nuke? <laughs> Cause yeah, I, oh, I just realized that's probably a. It's like ee, yeah, it's like getting flash banged. So I'll put the headphones back on so that y'all don't have to hear it. Like I'll take the full brunt of the blast. It's like kiss me, kiss me, with the, with the sound. Why won't you place that there? What? You, you'll place inside of other walls. Why not that specific one? You know what? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Alright. God. <laughs> That's so loud. Like, I understand the, the gravity of the situation of us blowing up a nuclear bomb, but, like... But, yeah, like, why, though? Why the sound? So my main goal is to actually just get the ladder down here so I can use up some of this area, but like... Uh, it's so tiresome digging through this stuff. Because I don't think any of the I don't think any of the pickaxes can um, properly process tier 3 dirt. So that's why... We've been doing nukes. <laughs> I don't think I don't think the modded pickaxes are even tier three. Probably because the like the the concept of tier three just doesn't exist yet, so they can't make tier three pickaxes. Then again, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm just wrong. Because I know one uh, pickaxe just deletes all the dirt on the the claim that you use it on. Which if it really comes to all, I will. I could you do that, but I don't really want to because that seems a little too powerful. If that makes any sense, like probably not, but whatever. Uh, like I'm still trying to play within the constraints of the game, even if I am using modded stuff to like quality of life or whatever. But like. The camera wobbles funky. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. That's enough nukes for now. To turn the the desktop audio back. The, the desktop audio is now back on. So let's go ahead and we'll unstuck out of the hole and let's grab our money. We're gonna go nuke the whales. <laughs> Gotta nuke something. <laughs> We're gonna do some um, do some stuff differently because if it really comes to it I will like just um, if it really comes to it I will simply um, get the I'll try to get up to the pickaxe that lets us just 
delete all the dirt on the claim. That way I won't have to deal with doing nukes anymore. And then we'll just have like a giant like abyss. <laughs> okay. We're gonna double check, make sure creative mode isn't active anymore. Like I don't see the stuff here anymore that you could buy in creative mode, but we're just gonna Okay, cool. It's no stealing. Good. Alright, so. Because I am going to want to buy a tier two shovel just so we can get some dirt because if we're gonna if we're gonna go the path of deleting all the dirt on the map on the map we're gonna want some dirt like in a pan or something somewhere so we can make dirt for our drills to sit on because your drills have to be sitting on at least some dirt for them to function they can't just be sitting like in thin air with nothing under them it can almost do that. You can like place dirt and you get dirt placed in midair and then put them on top of it. But like, it's usually easier to set up the dirt and then put the drills on top of it. But yeah, we need a shovel at bare minimum. Probably grab another pan too while we're at it so we can hold like multiple multiple pieces of dirt in the event that things go south. Granted, I think it doesn't ma like the depth. I think as far as I'll have to look into it more. Probably at work. I'll probably have to watch a YouTube video at work. But the, uh, the usually the function for bigger stuff is the deeper you have your drills or your dirt comes from, the bigger stuff you find in your dirt. I don't know if that means we can take dirt from the top of the map, put it in the bottom of the map, and then just get big stuff that way, or if there's like some other method to the madness. But in the event that there. In one way or another, we're gonna keep some dirt from the our our dig here. Like we're just gonna keep some dirt from it, and to to make sure that we can um, properly utilize our resources that we're working hard to get made and set up. Where a lot of, a lot of words that my brain was trying to think of while I was also trying to close this pop up thing that came up. <laughs> Okay, so we got a shovel, we got a pan, we just grab our money, we don't want to leave that here. I mean, there's worse places to leave our money than this store, because I mean, we need a lot of stuff from the store in general, but. Oh, something else I was going to buy. I need to buy a tier 2 pickaxe. We're, we're going to make a separate pickaxe. We're going to try to upgrade to the uh, highest tier. Because I want to I want to keep the shard pickaxe we have, because that's a generally useful pickaxe for just digging stuff out. Like it's not too big, not too small, and feels feels like it would be like a good size for like maybe a tier three pickaxe in the real like a real tier p a real tier three pickaxe in the actual game when it comes out like the size isn't too overpowered but it's would be a nice upgrade like if it costs like a few grand for the pick upgrade or something like I'm I'm not trying to like cheese the game too hard because this is the kind of game where like if you cheese it too much there's not much game left to cheat to cheat to play because I mean there's plenty of content it's just like if you cheese stuff too bad then it loses a lot of its value I guess I don't know my, my valuation for these kind of like survival ability kind of games is strange anyway we are here Back at the Ember Cradle, we're gonna grab our little pickaxe and put it on here. Uh, we need 300 iron to make the iron pickaxe. We should have more than enough of that. Like, nope, <laughs> just yoink, yeet. Like, I don't know how much iron's here. Oh, 35,000 pounds. That's that's a good amount. That's that's enough, right? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just be upgrading this, um, and then we can put the rest back in. Okay, and then the next is a gold. So let's get some gold. Nope. So that's the problem with having like one of these systems like this. Like, if you don't turn the system off, you're trying to like get your stuff out. Like, you just make a mess. <laughs> I mean, this should be more than enough gold, I would imagine. 
Okay, next one's gonna be shard, which is a thousand shard. That one might be a little harder to source because shards tend to be a little be a little more uncommon than the others. So we might not have enough here. Oh, never mind. We we totally do. Okay. Okay, so we got the shard pickaxe deck back, and now we need emerald. Which well. Oh, come on, game. Be humble. Be humble. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There must have been a lot of gems to smash down there. Well, that's kind of a nice looking pickaxe. Then we need some sapphires. So we'll put this back in here. We'll grab the sapphire. We'll see if that's enough sapphire. And if it's not, then we'll probably just go get some more from... Like we have that big ass sapphire back at the other place. Yeah, I feel like that sapphire is not big enough. Let's find out. Not quite. That's partially why I also always try to use. Um, emeralds for making stuff because they tend to be the biggest gems because they're the most common at least at least from here they're the most common Let's see did we get enough huh? no not quite so we're gonna run back to South Hope and um, well let's let's turn this off for now actually before that how is these doing these still have so many repairs they keep the, the 16 means there are 16 more repairs left in this repairing thing like these have been going for most of the stream <laughs> so like these last for so long and are so easy to refill that like it's ridiculous oh, come on game be humble <laughs> okay it was auto saving I was like wait a second <laughs> please no okay so we got just extra pans we're not gonna need these here anymore so I might take them some of them with me. Like this pickaxe will stay here because we're just going to be coming to a. Uh... We're going to be leaving, getting our gems from South Hope, and then coming back. What is? Wood wall, angled all. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, as I was just gonna say, I think I killed it, but nope. I just made it stop displaying its uh, thingies. Uh, what are we doing here? Those are all going. I don't know why they're not synced up. That's weird. Okay, we turned stuff off. Now, a way to avoid the thing that happened whenever I closed the game and reopened it earlier, where all this stuff was exploded everywhere, is if we turn this off before closing and reopening the game, it will be fine. It's just there's something that happens when like systems like this are just going that cause a uh, problem. <laughs> a problem, you could say. Man, we can take all this stuff with us. Especially the Cloudium, how much do we end up getting here? Ooh, nice! That'll be useful to make the uh, intake things. And frankly, this is like more than enough iron to just make whatever we need out of iron for like the rest of time, because. I mean, you use like a thousand iron per um, tier 2 drill. But iron's usually not the bottleneck. It's usually cloudium, because cloudium's a lot more uncommon. Cloudium may be the most uncommon thing, other than um, what you call it, other than um, onyx, because onyx are these these black gems here. I think they're the rarest thing you can find. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna take this stuff with us, because we can use the cloudium to make the intake pipes that we want to do.
Oh yeah, systems. I was like, why is it not working? And the answer is there's no, there's no water happening. All right, let's go get our other gems. Uh, why is that, why'd that box get stuck? That's a problem, let's move you out of the way. You're just like stuck to the truck. It's just, that seems like a, uh, a slight oversight. <laughs> that the, those boxes just kind of stick to the truck and then the, the, the frickin' um, the hitbox or whatever probably just clips over there everything and just causes problems. Yeah, we're gonna go... Um, gonna go back down to... Come on! Come on! Come down! While we're here in the river, we might as well fill up our truck, too. Just throw, just throw it forcefully in the river. Okay, that's definitely full now. Alright. It's honestly usually a good idea to keep one of these pans or buckets with you in case you are like near water and your truck's running a little dry. I wish the tier 2 truck had a bigger water tank and a bigger bed, but it has neither. I, th I think they just move a bit faster, which doesn't really matter that much. Not as much as having a bigger water tank and having a bigger truck bed would do. In my opinion, at least. Alright, so. Came okay, here, we'll drop this stuff off. And. Yeah, before we end the stream, which will be in like 30 something minutes, we'll, uh. We'll go make some stuff at Ice Helm, because we need to make some, uh. Well, we need to make some uh, pipe intakes for our uh, our little uh, input pipe. It's gonna this is gonna be placed like you know elsewhere, but like but, like it, you see the, this little sockets on the side, except for um, intake boosters, and so that's what we're gonna try to make before the before I end the stream. But we're still trying to do like miscellaneous chores to try to see if we can get that um like how, how heavy is the sapphire because oh that's plenty heavy at least that sapphire at least the sapphire is plenty heavy no idea if the other gems or things that it's gonna have ask of me are gonna be heavy enough but we'll, fi we'll figure it out oh let's make sure we don't do that we we're about we we're about to put cloudium in the scrap bar thing which would have probably deleted all the cloudium which would be a uh, not fun that would be a waste of stuff all right so we can bind these bars together let's see I know how to scale somewhere there it is okay 839 hopefully that's enough for later when we go to make the uh, cloudium stuff We'll combine these irons together too, just so there's less shit to haul around. Same with the shard bars, we'll just merge them together. What shard bars do are they power your um, your pressure chambers so that you can have high water pressure in crucial places, such as your machines. <laughs> Because these pressure chambers restore the, like the intake here has a certain pressure level that it has based off of, well, the type of pipe it is and also the intakes. And what this does is it takes the source pressure that this provides and it restores it to full. But these need uh, power to function. So that's what shard bars are good for. 
Alright, so. We'll take our shovel here. We'll leave it here because it doesn't need to be anywhere else. Okay, and. Don't really need money with us. We're not buying anything else right now. Actually, we will need money eventually because when we get to Ice Helm, I think we have to buy the schematic for the um, Cloudium intake boosters. But yeah, we're heading back now to. We're heading back to the cradle to try to make as best of a pickaxe as we can. I don't think we're going to be able to make the one I'm thinking of yet. But we can at least kind of progress through. I doubt any of them are tier 3. If there are some that are tier 3, then we can just use that and kind of dig out a bunch more area. Because as fun as it is using the nukes, like, they're expensive and they don't blow up as nearly as much area as they probably should. And, ha and having to use those is kind of tedious. Alright, so. Let's take our gems. We'll drop them in and combine them all together. And then we'll see about making our pickaxes as good as we can. Sapphire, so we're gonna put that there and okay. And next, we need Ruby, which hopefully we have enough Ruby. Because I don't know how big of a Ruby this is. Oh, that should be plenty. Yeah, I think that's I think it's may not plenty, but it's enough. <laughs> okay, and now. Oh, we need. Cl oh no. I was gonna make. I was gonna make stuff out of that Cloudium, but we might not be able to if we're gonna upgrade our pickaxe again. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's still a tier two. It looks cool. It looks like a dragon pickaxe from RuneScape. I mean, of course it does. It's red. That's what dragon stuff looks like. Um. We do have enough Cloudium in total. Right, we'll let this Cloudium fall in here and we'll see how much this is. I mean, there's 60 more Cloudium. I don't know if that's going to be enough to really contribute much to... I mean, this is this probably enough to upgrade the pickaxe, but what we have left over might not be enough to do anything else with. But I feel like getting this pickaxe up here is more important. This pickaxe would be a permanent. Uh, granted, I'd say the pickaxe is gonna be a permanent upgrade, but so is the uh, the intake things we can make. Still tier two. Hmm? It keeps falling off like that. I, I should I, I should have learned my lesson last time. All right, so 400 400 weight onyx. I don't know if the onyx we have is that big. Because these onyxes take a while to get. Let's see. Yeah, like even with like how much we've been getting onyxes, we do not have enough onyx to upgrade this. <laughs> like we've been getting on, we've been saving this onyx since we could start getting onyx. So that's gonna have to wait, unfortunately. Which means, which means I kind of feel like I wasted the cloudium that we could use to make other stuff. Kind of curious to see how. Oh yeah, I, I used nukes to clear this out because <laughs> I was just kind of bored. Uh, we can see how big this digs, like over here or something. Like, let's kind of just hop in this hole and. I mean, that's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Like, we could upgrade this uh, Ember Cradle place even more than, you know, we already have here. But, like, I just don't care to because, you know, whatever. 
yeah, the sheer scale that these uh, these pick these modded pickaxes can do compared to otherwise being able to do is pretty sizable. Like, if we really wanted to be super efficient, we could stuff like another like probably like five to ten. Like ten to like ten to like eight to ten more drills in here, but frankly, I just don't think I care. <laughs> it would be smart, but I don't want to, because working in this cramped ass area is not very much fun. I think it's the real question: Is I still have a crappy pickaxe? Because there was like a little bit of a. A fishing pole there. I still have a crappy like tier one pickaxe. I'm not sure. Hmm. I also have no idea how long these shard bars actually last because I don't think I've replaced that one down there in like a, a lot for in a long time, if ever. <laughs> so. Oh, I do have the tier one pickaxe down here still. I use it. I have it over here because I was using it to split money stacks. Because that's something you can do. You can like you can pickaxe hit your money stack to split it in half. If you want to like leave a, a big pile of money somewhere so you don't have to, like keep dragging your money around. Yeah, if we really wanted, we could set up more more of these, but we'd have to make more of these. And I don't think that's... I mean, it take, only takes iron to make these drills, so it's very easy to get at this point, because, I mean, it just, it's just, it just is. It's not, like, hard to obtain iron at all in the slightest. We'll just leave this guy over here. Yeah, I, I wish I would have known I didn't have enough onyx to upgrade this Cloudium pickaxe because otherwise I wouldn't have done it so we could use the Cloudium for something else because Cloudium is kind of hard to get a lot of, at least right now. I mean, there's 237. There might be enough to make at least something, so we'll probably just go with it and we'll leave the Cloudium pickaxe here. Cause it's not like you can break tier three dirt anyway, so there's no point in bringing it back if we're gonna have to upgrade it here anyway. Yeah, it just takes so long to get these onyx gems. Granted, I could make I could expedite that by having a lot more of these drills, but. Maybe that's something we do next stream, is just make a bunch more iron drills and shove them down here, like in this area, because I could have them all just breaking stuff and have the conveyor belt for it, like come and like drop them, drop stuff like right here or something. But we're, we're going to stop thinking about that right now, because yeah. I've got all I have so much real estate for thinking and that real estate is going to be involved in making some stuff at Ice Helm for the, the stream ends. Which will t means we'll take this way to get over to Ice Helm from here. <clears throat> and if you head under that bridge that was right there, you can get to another one of the dig sites. That's it's pretty big, but it's kind of like the farthest one away from any town, so it's not really useful. Like, technically, Ice Helm counts as a town, but, like, there's not a place to sell stuff at I Ice Helm. So, it's kind of awkward. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna put our truck here. I 
at this little fun, at the little fun tube here. Because if we, there's some some pipes we can put stuff in. That um, will transport things to through here into the truck. We can likewise put things in here to transfer them further downstairs. Which for these we're not gonna do that for that because the place that we'd be using these bars is closer to get to. Actually, unless you're, unless you're taking stuff down to there's a dig site inside of this mountain city place. And the only really useful thing to use this for is if you're actually doing stuff at that dig site. Which, I mean, it's a perfectly fine dig site, but mm, I don't know. It's kind of like not the most convenient one to use. That one, that would probably be South Hope, which is the place we're at now. Tr starting to set up. Alright, let's get our money. And I brought this car here specifically to do stuff here, because... Otherwise, you have to drag things up and down this fucking elevator here constantly. You can just you just jump down. No fall damage, by the way. <laughs> you don't gotta worry about breaking your legs. You functionally don't even have legs. I mean, you see any legs here? <laughs> All right. And these are little. These these are how you craft things. Like these are like little uh, masterwork designs. And you put them on this pedestal here to pick your crafting recipe. And these things on the side here tell you what you need of each thing. That's like a, so for these um, drills, it's a thousand iron and three hundred clout. And I don't know how much cloudium we're gonna need for these for the for the cloudium boosters, but these are the intake boosters I was talking about for the iron. We have some of them on our iron pipes back at Ember Cradle because they just boost things. They make things better. Uh, so oh well. I can leave the um, the bars here, so they don't haul them around with me. And we'll take our cart and we'll go buy the um, the club. We'll buy any other masterwork designs we need right now, just because might as well. And this place has a has a mine and a store nearby, but they don't have like a place you can sell stuff, so it can be. I get it. You can turn this place into a very useful place, but let's see, 300. Oh, it only takes 60? Hmm. We might have enough to actually make all four of these anyway. I was expecting to take more Cloudium than that, frankly. So, and we only need four of those because we're only going to have like one intake thing anyway. We have that already made. Yeah, okay, so that's the only one we have to buy. I mean, we could buy another like this table to to make stuff at the other place, but I don't really think it's necessary. Anywho, let's buy this design. The design's slightly expensive, it's like four hundred, which so it's not like something you can buy like media at the beginning of the game. But once you get some automated stuff going that just makes money for you while you're doing other stuff, it it just doesn't take long to get money in this game. Money quickly becomes n n a non-object, which is why it's cool that some mods are like some mods are like really cool quality of life stuff, but make them really expensive. So there's like something to actually like kind of grind for. Otherwise, you're just kind of making money for the sake of just doing it. All right. So since these don't take iron, we won't have to put any iron or iron in the little forge up here. But yeah, you have your thing on the pedestal there, and you put st you put your materials in here, and then you pull the lever, cronk, and then we make a clautium intake booster hook, and then we have you get your change back, <laughs> essentially. I right, said, so let's see. Do we have enough? Oh, we're just shy. We're just fucking shy of being able to make. Um, to be able to, of being able to make three more. I'm not gonna accept that. We're gonna probably go back to Ember Cradle real quick and grab whatever Cloudium is there. It literally just needs to be weigh three pounds, and then now let us uh, make all the boosters we're gonna need for the new place. Oh. 
perfect timing. That'd be the good thing about getting stuff going at the new place too, is like all the stuff should be a lot bigger. So when we do get clouding, we should be getting a lot more of it. Like that's just gonna exponentially increase the amount of resources we get. Which granted, there's not like much you can really use those resources for other than just expanding your operation currently. Like there's no like big like multi big structures to build that need a lot of resources like if you're building a house, you just buy stuff from the house store. There's not like any like buildings or machines that you need to like, other than like your drills and your harvesters and just miscellaneous stuff like the intakes that we're making now. There's nothing else to really craft with your metals or whatever. Hopefully they add, hopefully there's more stuff that they add to kind of fill out stuff like that. Okay, Whatever cloud in, we have in here, we're taking it. That's that's more than enough. I'm wait for that gym to come here, and we'll smash them all together. I'm gonna be constantly checking this onyx to see if it's gone up. We did get. It looks like we did get another onyx of some kind because it went up from like 279. But yeah, that's gonna take a while to uh, properly function. It's gonna take a while for it to properly um, get all the onyx we need. Anyway, get this cloudium and get back to Ice Helm there. Cause we were shy, like just stick like sixty to make one of those intakes, and we had. To make three more, we need 180. We had 177, which was frustrating, but that's okay because we just went and got a little bit more from the Amber Cradle because it's just making shit while we're doing other shit. So we didn't have to like grind out the. We didn't really have to grind out anything. It was just kind of there for us when we went back to get it. With the amount of with the amount of a harvest with the with the harvester and the amount of drills that we have that are tier two, once we get that stuff set up, it's gonna start making us a lot of good stuff anyway. So it won't be long before Ember Cradle is just kind of in the background, making us like a nice small extra amount of stuff compared to like just the massive amount of stuff this new place is gonna do for us. So is this? I guess this is on a bit of a grade. All right. No legs. <laughs> cool, like, Dwarven City vibes here. Alright. Okay. Did we move the other one off? I think we did. I know we made one already. Okay, there it is. Let's, let's put that in the cart. Especially since I'm gonna have to take the cart back up anyway, because I don't leave it down here, because that that's just that'd just be a mistake. Because that heart that cart helps me get stuff in and out of here much more quickly. Because I can only carry one thing at a time, but with the cart I can carry basically as many things as I need. Oh yeah, I gotta grab the the change. Okay, yep, we still have, we have enough to make two more. Let's load these up. Now I can show off what this thing does because I was talking about it earlier. But this thing let take lets you transport things to your truck up top. Well, it, it transports things up top to the like kind of that little pipe thing that I was parking my truck under initially. We can just put one on here and it'll just like take it up and poof, it, it sends it up top. 
I'm just still gonna be taking this anyway. I can at least show off that. We'll take our. Man, I'm kind of tempted to just leave this big thing of iron here, cause that way we won't have to worry about. I'll, I'll probably end up bringing iron any every time anyway, so whatever. And there's nothing else in there. We've got our leftover clautium. All right, let's take our cart and go. Yeah, I can see this game going really going really far if they really kind of lean hard into like the water powered stuff. Like, like I'm I don't know if any of y'all played like Oxygen not included, but like a big part of what they added in like later like expansions for that is like space like travel and exploration, and that involves like rockets, and they have like steam rockets, and I could very easily see something like a steam rocket being like maybe you could go to fucking space in this game with like a steam powered rocket i think that would be badass so like there's plenty of more room they could do to make like cool shit in this game like have like a steam rocket that you have to like use cloudium and like iron to like make parts for or something i might be getting a little off in the weeds with that but i, I feel like that'd just be really cool to be able to do more stuff like that I guess quote unquote late game things other than look at all my drills and then you could go to like the moon and do like moon dirt and get like moon metal or some shit I don't know I'm just I'm just brainstorming actively while trying to also focus on getting <laughs> any literally anything done Like, maybe, like, yeah, like, maybe, like, the moon could be tier 3 or something. Because, like, there's tier 3 dirt here now, but we can't, like, do anything with it. So maybe, like, when you get to the moon, like, the moon dirt's different. And you can get the moon metal and you can use that to make, like, a tier 3 pick. And then use that to, um, do things. I don't know, but we can swing, we can swing by the, um, get a different look at, like, the farming place before it's, it's not, like, out yet but this is like where it's gonna be it looks like it's kind of well like a construction yard kind of deal but I feel that's where like at least some of the new stuff from the from the expansion is gonna be which coincidentally is right next to South Hope which is right next to Bridgeport so this is like the best place to be for in general like late in-game builds all right let's see So I, I don't know if it properly works if you um, put a pipe and then this pipe. But we'll, we'll go ahead and set this pipe up and we'll attach the little dudes. That's probably good enough. I say as I move it immediately. <laughs> yeah, that'll, be, that'll probably be fine. Oh, excuse me. So now let's grab our boosters. Now there's a there's a way you can read the water pressure of pipes. Like yeah, like there's a like this game has like a system of like hook on items, which includes this stuff and the things I just made as well. Like, th this game has, like, a hook-on system where you can hook things onto pipes or conveyors and et cetera, et cetera, and just, like, it's real good. No, we still have, like, five nukes. We can, we'll use those at some point. Not right now, though. I'm trying to focus what little brain power I have. It's like if I if I if I really strain myself and, and focus really hard, I could probably light a light bulb. <laughs> All right, let's get this put on here because yeah, these can kind of just like slot into the various slots right here and boost. And it seems like every each of these boosts the um, intake of water by thirty percent. I can imagine that's additive where like it goes up to 120 percent 
boost. So, so these are very impactful. So it's super good that I was able to scrounge out just enough Claudium after fucking up and making that pickaxe to be able to make these. But yeah, next stream we'll definitely be working more on this. But I figured getting this water in place, the, the intake in place, and then getting these put on is a good enough thing to end off on. Since I got to once again show off the crafting system for the drills and stuff in this game. Because initially, you only get, you can only buy, like, whenever you're first starting out, you do everything manually. But once you get um, enough money, you can buy one each of a you can buy one iron drill and one iron harvester like from a place near the very beginning like near the ember curdle place there's a shop that sells one of each and only one of each and after that you have to make all your drills if you want more which you're probably going to want more so you have to do that process that i was doing to make these little intake boosters to make your iron drills mercifully the iron drills are much cheap are pretty cheap i think they're like it's like 300 or 400 or something iron, which once you can start getting stuff automated, doesn't take long to get, and then you start just kind of ramping up in how much stuff you get as you get it. All right, so this will be the last one of these. Nice. Let's get just a small bit of money. Like, oh, I'm gonna split off a bunch. Like, we'll leave. We're, we're gonna take like 12k with us, and we'll just we'll just leave that at the store. I'm gonna just run there on foot and buy like one thing because I want to see what the water pressure is of our new Claudium drill stuff. There's a there's a, a hook on kind of item you can hook onto um, a pipe, and then it'll tell you the water pressure of the current pipe, which can help for planning out things. But frankly, you usually don't need to know. I'm just curious to know what the, the pressure is, because as long as the water pressure is not zero, you can have the water pressure run all over the place. And then if you like right before like. Your conveyor belts and your drills you can have a, a pressure chamber to restore your pressure to the original amount and then it won't matter because it'll just be back to full we're just gonna leave this 12k here yeah there's a gauge hook attaches straight in t-pipes reads pressure and pipe that's what we want to buy that's the only thing we're buying this i'm gonna stay there we'll grab this and we're gonna go run back very quickly run through the underbrush <laughs> Whee! and we'll take we'll drop this off over here and then we'll get us one of this. We'll get our one of our straight pipes, and we'll put it down, and then I'll hook this on just so I can see the water pressure coming off this bad boy. Cause I'm just curious. It won't. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be about as high as it's gonna be able to be in this game. But I just want to know what the number is, just for the sake of just for the not just for knowledge. other than this time now that I'm holding these and using these right now, I've only used these tier 2 pipes one time. Because last time I played this on my own, seriously, I got to this point where I'm starting to set stuff up here and then I kind of like got distracted and stopped playing. <laughs> that or I got burnt out, which tends to happen when you um, play a lot of something a little too much. 
Okay, I think that's... <laughs> I think that was like 300... Yeah, 368. God damn. Uh, that's... That's a lot. I wonder if that means that your your tier two machines will work like that much fa so much faster than the tier ones because they are just they can use those higher speeds. I guess I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna grab one. Come on, grab it. I got. I don't know what the higher speed really amounts to. <laughs> Like three six eight was a was what it was. Is it still three sixty eight? Hmm. Pipe time. Well, or I was just kind of curious to see how powerful the the water pressure from these pipes are. Apparently it's very strong, <laughs> but yeah, we're about to be ending. I'm about to be ending my stream now because it's it's time to do lunch things with my roommate, because that's part of our daily workflow. Because we're both neurodivergent people, so we we try to make things work the best we can, and that's one of the ways we do things is we do lunch at like eleven all the time. So, me going a little over is usually not the end of the world, but I try not to because that intrudes on our lunchtime. But, yeah, next year of this, we're going to be um, expanding more on this. I might do more stuff at the Ember Crater, like make more drills, but I finished this shitty house at least. <laughs> so, let's uh, save and quit to desktop. I had a good time, though, even if I was complaining sometimes about stuff. That's just how it goes. Uh, let's see. We'll do this stream ended thing, but yeah, thank you, thank you everyone so much for hanging out with me today. While I'm just playing this chill buildy game where there's like no death, no consequences really. <laughs> just kind of a fun thing to play to kind of just relax. Um, yeah, Saturday I'll be doing another big stream unless there's something going on that me and my roommate need to do. So it'll be another, like, big, like, first stream will be, like, three hours. Second stream, I think, will be, like, four, generally. And then the one after that's just as much time as I have left before I feel tired, which is usually, like, five or six, which would be Minecraft. <laughs> but, um... Specifically on Saturday, if I'm doing another big stream like that, we'll be playing Pokemon fucking Scarlet. Because, yes, it's it's time. Those games are going to be out, and I'm excited. I've, 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 I've mo majorly avoided spoilers, but I have seen, like, one probably final Evo, and the one that I probably didn't want to see, because people fucking suck. But, so it goes. Unfortunately, using social media, you can't avoid it all the time, even if you try. But, anyway... That's going to be the stream for today. Uh, let's see if we got anyone online real quick that I can read into. Let's see. Oh, there's all... we got Digi here playing more... Pa oh, Pathologic 2, the second. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just read into Digi Dragon. I mean, he, he had the graciousness of visiting us earlier and, and hanging out, so we'll, we'll, we'll return the favor. Uh, so I'm gonna end my stream and we will raid into Digi Dragon Seven. I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna preload his stream. Mute it up and preload it up because there's like because Bezos is like, oh hey, you want to see ads and like gives you like a fucking thirty second ad before you can even like look at someone else's stream. I I don't like it, but so it goes. So we're gonna preload Digi's stream up and I'm gonna stop my stream and then we'll start the raid. See you there.